Hello guys, welcome back. In our previous video, we have created this setup where we scattered points based on the height of the object and also we had some controls to adjust the spread of the scatter. In case if you have missed it, you can go back and watch this video, there is a link in the description. Let's move on to today's topic which is scatter by curvature. So before doing anything on this, I'll just show you what we are trying to achieve. Here we can see a statue. In the statue, you can see wherever there is this kind of creases and concave areas, we have this dirt collected. So we are going to scatter some points only on this concave areas like this to create this kind of dust or dirt effect. So let's get started. We have this squab here. Let's subdivide it to have more divisions like this. Okay, I think that's enough. To do this, we need to have labs tools installed. The side effects labs tools having a lot of useful tool set. I highly recommend to install this. If you don't know how to install this, there is a link in the description. You can follow that and install it in easy way. Let's drop a labs measure curvature. So this is what we exactly need. Connect this. Once you connect that and visualize, it gives exactly what we needed. Wherever there is those kind of creases, it's creating this green color and also this exporting that into an attribute, two different attributes, concavity and convexity. Let's try to scatter on this area. Just connect this and set this density attribute, enable the density attribute and set this to concavity and visualize it yeah currently it's not clear let's try to increase the force count so that you see exactly the results and you can also merge it back we can also increase the count even more to be more clear and also we can adjust this ramp to have more contrast so in case if you don't like this color, you can drop a color swap here and adjust the color as you wish. So we have some dirt collected on the creases. So there is another another uh, attribute which is export which is convexity. We can also use the same here to achieve slightly different variation of that. And we can also increase the contrast of the ramp to have points scattered only along this kind of sharp edges. So that will be useful in some cases where you want to create some magical effects or something. So that's it for this video. Learning little tricks every day like this is one of the easiest way to learn Houdini. If you wish to learn more in easy way, hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as I publish. Hope you find this useful. If you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics, you can always let me know in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. Have fun.